Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Brain Honey. Hello, if it's your first time, we're gonna make biscuits today. I call them the most tender biscuits. That's a way to make me feel better about the fact that they're not very attractive. Okay, so 120 grams per cup, which means I am going for 240. 240 and then our baking powder now we have two cups of flour two teaspoons of baking powder a half teaspoon of baking soda a, a tablespoon of sugar, and I'm using salted butter. So uh, if, you're, if you use unsalted butter, you're gonna wanna add like a teaspoon and a half of fine sea salt. I am using salted butter, so I'm only gonna put in like a pinch of salt. And let's get to sifting. I'm only gonna use six tablespoons of it in the dough. So that is about, my estimation skills are amazing. Do you see that? Can you, is the camera focusing? This bake, I cut this, this is exactly two tablespoons and I couldn't see the measurement from the angle. For the rest of this cold butter, we will be I just want to scatter this all over the butter. I mean the flour. So now I'm gonna preheat my oven to 450. Oh, I did that already. <laughs> so this little cup, it is just large enough for my biscuit cutter. So I'll be dipping between biscuits, I'll be dipping it in here, rotating it a little bit, tapping off the excess, and then that's what I'll use to cut all my biscuits. It also has enough flour in here for me to dust the surface of the flour, or I'm sorry, dust the surface um, before I shake the biscuits, and then also, Dust the top. That's perfectly. We've got our butter in with our flour, right? And I'm gonna use this and doing this rotating motion, we are cutting the butter in. Ever so often, you will need to scrape it. All right, now, now this butter has been worked in. You don't want any pieces larger than a pea, so this is about the biggest piece of butter that you'll find. Next, I'm gonna make a little well in the center of the bowl, like that. I'm gonna pour the buttermilk right in the center. And then we're gonna cover it up. We're gonna hide it. <laughs> we're gonna act like it, we don't wanna see it. See how there's a layer of flour over it? Now it's a matter of getting it mixed together. So you see how I just kind of cut it like a pie? Right? Now it should not take more than, I'll say 10 turns for this to turn into a dough. And 
we have dough. It's shaggy. It's a little weird looking, but you'll notice there are no huge spots of wetness. There are no huge spots of dryness. It's all kind of like together. Now it's time to flour our work surface. I'm gonna use more flour for biscuits than I would for bread, um, just because I just think that they turn out better when I do that. And it keeps the biscuit dough off my fingers. I absolutely despise dough on my fingers. And then we are going to dust the top. Dust the top. That's about a teaspoon of flour. And now it's just a matter of patting it down. Now, the thing about these biscuits is you do not need to roll anything. There's no rolling pin. You don't need to roll anything. You're just going to tap. And pretend this is a baby. Okay? Pretend you're burping a baby. And you're going to pat it until, I would say, about a half inch. baking sheet. It's lined with a silk pad mat and I'm going to cut out the biscuits. So I'm going to go as close to the edge, press it straight down, and then this is how we're going to loosen it. Okay. Don't, don't worry about the excess biscuit on the outside. It doesn't matter at all. And we're not twisting. That's something anybody will tell you. Do not twist. I'm not twisting. It's going straight down. And then I'm circling. I'm not twisting. Now, this doesn't matter that much unless... Because I didn't, like, fold for layers or anything like that. So... I want to have them touch because if they touch, they will rise higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven biscuits out of that. And then we're going to just redo this real quick. Take some flour and we're just going to pack this into one big round. And same thing. Eight. You can do milk, you can do egg, um, like an egg wash, like you would for like yeast rolls. You can do quite a bit. Like me, I'm gonna do butter. And I'm doing a very, a pretty hefty base, just because like I want the butter to like get on the bottom when they're baking and shit. Put these in the oven, top rack. I'm going to do 12 minutes. Okay. And these biscuits. Biscuits. They're not the prettiest, but that's, that's not what this recipe is. This is not a recipe for beautiful biscuits. This is a recipe for the most tender biscuits. Here is the inside of our biscuit. Very nice and fluffy and pillowy. 
Delicious. Only the truly country folks are gonna get this, but. And there you have it, the most tender biscuits. Recipe is on deepbreadhoney.com. I will link it in the video description. Thank you as always for spending a few, well, it was like 11 minutes out of your day with me. Um, I appreciate you. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye.